Hello, and welcome back to another brand new unscripted review, where all these Christmas unscripted reviews are going to be audio only. Uh, but yeah, so today's one is going to be of the Disney Channel original Christmas movie, Twas the Night, originally released back in 2001. And uh, before I get into it, I just have to say, I remember watching this movie as a kid. I remember bits and pieces, I remember bits and pieces of it, but I completely forgot it existed until I was, it was after I watched The Muppets at Christmas Carol. I was looking to see what other Christmas movies were on Disney Plus and Twas the Night came up. I was like, oh, I remember that. That's the one with Brian Cranston in it. Yeah, I, I completely forgot it existed. But anyway, let's dive into this uh, review. So the movie is as Disney Channel original as you can get. Um, so the plot essentially revolves around how Uncle Nick uh, is a con artist, essentially. He's a scammer. Um, and he gets in trouble with these uh, two people over $30,000, and he runs back to his little brother's house for the Christ for Christmas. And uh, his brother has three children, um, two boys, one girl. And it's the oldest that he has basically tried to mold into a version of himself. And uh, so the parents get called into the hospital because they're both doctors and Nick is left looking after them. And so uh, just throughout the night, Santa comes because uh, falls out of the sky essentially because Nick has this computer virus that can distort any computers within 50 mile radius which at this time because of reindeer flu that's that's the reason that was given in the movie uh Santa used a computerized sleigh and so he crash lands he deals with uh the virus but he accidentally knocks himself out. And so Danny, the, the oldest boy, uh, wants to, you know, take over as Santa, you know, go deliver all the presents whilst he's unconscious. Nick sees this as a golden opportunity because Santa has this ball that allows him to freeze time, shrink things, grow things, and go up and down the chimney without any issue. So they go off to the rich area, and while Stanny's sitting out in the sleigh, Nick robs uh, the place blind, essentially. You know, shrinks it down, puts it into his pocket, because he sees this as a way of, you know, paying off his debts and, you know, getting a few nice things for himself, essentially. And so they continue doing that. Real Santa wakes up, and he and the middle and youngest child go off to this computer store to try and hack back into the sleigh in order to bring it back. Uh, they fail, and it's whilst the uh, Nick and Danny are robbing uh, a big wealthy house, uh, that's when Nick discovers, not Nick, Danny discovers that Nick has been stealing. He brings the sleigh back. The sleigh gets badly damaged, and uh, in the end, Nick redeems himself, and that's the end of the movie. So, it's all right. It's an all right movie, you know, f Christmas wise. Uh, Brian Cranston, obviously, st amazing in it. Um, I think this was either just before Malcolm in the Middle or during filming for Malcolm in the Middle. I'm not 100% sure. Don't quote me on that. But still, it's very interesting to see Brian Cranston in this role um because he's brilliant essentially um but yeah it's definitely going to be one i probably won't return to ever again uh it's just it was nice to revisit it but it's definitely going to be one that i won't revisit again Again after this. But let me know if you've seen it, what you thought of it in the comment section below, and thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you all on the next un unscripted review. 